Be me. Fifth edition. Online marches grip with levels all over the place. Start at level four. Only one grip playing during my free time. Going in with level eights and tens. Fighter, ranger, sorcerer and warlock. Level 10 elven edge sorcerer takes me aside. You're new. I can tell. This is too hard for you. Just find a different party. I don't want to see you get one shot, then hide at the back all games slowing us down. Okay, bud. Bring out two packs of cute pally. True neutral lizard folk moon druid. Wields a maca weetle club and chamali shield. No armor because nature give him his. Name means warrior lizard in Nahuatl. Going hard on the Aztecs but still getting constant rap jokes. Magic initiate wizard to get find familiar since nerds get pets but druids don't. Have a venomous snake named fucking hell. Quid Quislacote, okay, that gets milked for poison. Tupac wears him like a belt. Spend all their time at the guild hall floating in the pond. All eyes on me. Fighter and ranger are the only ones who talk to Tupac due to the lizard folk's weird speech pattern and habits. Hard to speak common when your lips don't move that much. Only likes talking about food or hunting. Literally incapable of feeling for the other party members. Likes fighter and ranger for being good hunters. Upon inspecting the character art, the ranger asks where Tupac's junk is. Tupac literally has no concept of shame or modesty. Gives a detailed reptilian biology lesson, complete with examples. Ranger apparently dreams of being a bard, and is delighted to know that most lizards have two swords. Warlock has weak stomach apparently, and avoids the lizard now. Party finally decides to go through a portal with Tupac at the back, to keep him safe and away from the ranger at the front. Arrive in some hilly fields on a mission to rescue some farmers from a dragon. No usual signs of dragons, but plenty of weird floating demonic creatures in the distance. Big ugly bugs that are all mouth and the size of your head. Fighter and ranger don't carry ranged. Fear not boys, the druid is here. Tupac hands them each a rock. This one throw good. (laughs) Party looks at Tupac like he had the stroke. Sorcerer is giving the I told you so look. That's a rock and they're at least 50 feet away. Tupac pulls out a sling. This one throw good. (laughs) Sorcerer face palms. They have resistance. And that's still a rock. Tupac doesn't respond. Winds up and launches it at one of the creatures. Drills it and it pops like a balloon. This one throw good. (laughs) Ranger and fighter get the memo. And huck their rocks at the incoming demon bugs. Cast magic stone again and hand them more rocks. Casters throw around spells of fire and arcane power while the other three stone the demons to death. Sounds like Lifelike. Does sound a lot like Lifelike. Should have been a cleric. Finish off the swarm after a good long fight and a whole lot of rocks. Give the fighter and ranger slings. Tupac shoulders past the sorcerer and does the closest thing he can do a grin. This one throw real good. Fighter and ranger refuse to go anywhere without Tupac's throw good rocks. Work our way through the fields towards a big weird looking tree. Guess it's the source of the bug demons since it's covered in them. Halfway to the tree see a pair of trolls in a valley. Warlock and sorcerer spend way too long planning. Tupac gets bored. Strolls to the trolls. (laughs) Flicks up his crest and does a war dance. Trolls aren't amused. Cast flaming spear between them and starts running. Trolls aren't amused. Chase after the lizard. Can't catch up with Tupac and keep getting hit in the ass with a small son. Trolls get in a rock throwing fight with the lizard. Party finally catches up and starts throwing spells at the trolls. First troll goes down in a barrage of rocks and spells. Tupac charges the second one. Jump and latch onto his head. Bites its throat out and then rams the sphere into the back of its head. Ranger ham springs it and the fighter knocks it down. Tear it apart in a melee frenzy. Ranger and fighter get attacked by several arms. Frantically chop the arms into pieces and burn them. Ranger and fighter go to high five Tupac. Currently shoulder deep in the troll's neck and still going strong. Warlock is visibly unwell. Doesn't help when Tupac chases down one of the legs that is making a brick for it. Refuses to kill it. Folds it up and binds it with a rope. Party decides to take a short rest before going to the tree. Party further horrified 
when Tupac uses his racial trait to skin and dress two full-sized ogres in an hour. No. Fuck. Makes a set of javelins out of their bones and bundles up the leg and organs in their own skin using their hair as rope. Fuck, Fuck me. me. Jesus Christ, me. Can see the leg twitching under the skin. Asks the warlock why he is turning green like him. <laughs> Make our way to the tree. Cloud of weird bug demons around it. A few bigger than us. For once, Tupac and the sorcerer agree. Fireball and flaming sphere on the tree. Piss off demon bugs. Entire party gets swarmed. Can barely move due to the sheer amount of demon bugs. Warlock gets unlucky and goes down. Fear not, boys. The druid is here. Run over with the good berries. Tupac's magnificent lizard brain realises that an unconscious man cannot eat. Doesn't want his hunting partner to choke. Starts chewing. Oh no. Warlock is soon back on his feet. Doesn't look well, but is alive. Party is suddenly taking every precaution not to go down. One of the big bugs flies past Tupac. Wild shape into Deinonychus and jump onto its back. Ride it into the ground and tear it apart. Get knocked out of wild shape by a group of smaller bugs and go right back into it next round. Get knocked out of wild shape again. Everyone almost dead. Warlock kills the last big bug with a disgustingly good eldritch blast. All the smaller bugs instantly pop and start to dissolve. Tupac is horrified. Scrambles to the nearest big corpse and yanks out as many teeth as possible. Stares intently at them as the rest of the body dissolves. Teeth don't disappear. He would cry if he had tear ducts. Takes all the obsidian out of his maca weedle and replaces it with a demon bug thing teeth. Licks the new blade and takes poison damage. Delicious. Burns down the weird tree not tree thing while dancing around it in a ritual that makes the warlock queasy. Ask if his friends need healing. Nope. Go back to town and collect the gold for slaying the dragon. Definitely wasn't a dragon but party couldn't convince the town folk otherwise. Start dividing up the money. Tupac has the party keep his share of the reward. Fighter asks if he's sure. Tupac looks up from the still flailing troll leg he is currently eating. Grins and drills blood as it starts to regenerate. He got everything he could ever want. Messily pops a good berry into his mouth. Warlock pukes. So if you haven't noticed, this is a story done by Felix. I absolutely love Felix. I need to make a playlist dedicated to all of his story times. He is a, oh, I can't even, I can't even put it into words. What he does is amazing. His, specifically what really makes his story stand out to me is his character creation. He really does know how to make a really good player character. It's just outstanding. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, check out like Hands and Hookers and A Fire and Faith and uh, Arms and Automation and, uh, you know, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Um, the, the ogre one, I can't remember the name of it now. But look, I'll probably make a playlist at some stage of just all of his story times. They really are worth a go. Pretty much if it's called Of Something and Something, more than likely it was him that did it, you know. So definitely worth checking out if you enjoyed this one anyway or if it's your first time checking any of his stories out. Um, but look, I've got a few like announcements for you guys. So if you guys don't want to know, click off the video now. That's no sweat. But if you, for any of you guys that are interested in what I've got to say, hang about. But it might be a few months. I don't know. It's probably going to turn into a horrible ramble. We'll just see how this turns out. So first things first, my YouTube channel is completely monetized again. I was away on holiday there. Um, uh, I was away to Spain, it was lovely, it was a nice wee break after the whole fiasco that we had on the channel. But like, everything's back to normal now. We're going to be uploading five videos a week, voice acted every week from here on out for the foreseeable future. Also, um, a few of my mates have taken over the day-to-day -day runnings of Thread Thrasher. Um, it's pretty much, it's not going to be story times it's more thread simulator stuff like that and it's not always going to be like nerdy related stuff but it's always going to be stuff that like you know we find interesting you know uh, so we'll see how that turns out let us know what you think links to thread flasher down below you should, guys you should definitely check it out it's all voice acted anyway so like i don't know i think it's going to be pretty cool what we what comes from it because Pretty much we don't know what's going to happen with the channel at the minute. Uh, we're just going to have to work that out as the time comes. We're kind of just uh, throwing uh, throwing videos at the wall and seeing what happens. Like, you know, uh, it's kind of, it's an interesting time. So definitely check it out if you got the chance. 
Uh, also, also, I got the live stream up back up and running. I'm going to be updating that weekly, um, hopefully with any luck, you know. Like, things will come with time. Um, we're in a stage of experimentation at the moment. Um, I'm very happy to be back. I needed that wee break was great. I really certain my head out, something shocking. But I'm ready to get back into it. I'm biting at the bit. I've got a lot of um, stories that I've been saving. They're ready to go. They're all really good. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And also, if you yourself has a, have anything, definitely send that on in to me. The best way to do it is to just contact me on Discord. That would be the easiest way. Or on Twitter or Instagram or... Like, I've got plenty of links down below. So just, if you want to get a hold of me, check them out down below. Um... I think I'm going to call it a day here, so I will. I think I've rambled enough. I think I've got out the big points that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I'll see you in the near future. All right?